All right, um, boys, let's get it. And we're in. Right, so how's it going? Welcome back to channel. My name's Luke. This is LB TV, and today we got a double bubble on the go. It's not, boys. This is fucking LB TV. This is LB TV. Oh, we got the newest global recruit as well. Mate, it's not going up. It, 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 it's, it's, um, resignation being the time because this goes up, mate. I haven't seen my videos yet. Yeah. So, don't, don't you worry about that, mate. She's sweet. Yeah. Well, so, newest uh, global recruit. Global Motor Services. It's coming in hot, isn't it, Ryan? Do you know what's going on? You're feeling it, Ryan. Huh? You're feeling it. Something. You're feeling the global. He's feeling the global gang. That's what he's feeling. Mate, listen. What? In the last three days, we've realised that Ryan is global through and through. Yeah, he's been here three days. He's been here all week. <laughs> so look, trying to do this. I tell you, right? God damn, damn pipe, bro. Oh, right she's been a nightmare. She's been not a good one. So uh, Ryan works half eight to half five. <laughs> he's here by six. Works till freaking one in the morning. <laughs> he's some. He's global through and through, mate. Today is bucket seat and stool day. I hope so, if I can get this fucking thing. Me and Chris both went for Sabelt bucket seats. They're in here amongst all this somewhere. Um, and we've also we're got... We're basically a Megane parts store. Yeah, there. we've got a whole load of parts on the go for the Megans. But we've also got a K-brace and a rear strut bar from Bath Motorsports. So, shout out to Chris, who uh, sent yeah, them no out. Worries, no worries, mate. No, not you, mate. No, no worries, mate. It's all the limelight around here, I tell you now. It's not about you. In that jumper, isn't it? It's not about you in that jumper. That, that belly just protrudes, lovely. What are you on about? <laughs> anyway, we both went for white. I don't even know where, but oh man, I think it bulks right here, you know? I think it bulks right into that one there. Yeah. I think so, anyway. I don't know. Well, we'll get the rear bars out. We'll get the rear K braces and strut bars out first and see what goes on with that. Nice. Hey, Ryan, what do you reckon on my Yato toolbox? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Your what? That one right there. <laughs> you can't front. even see it, it's so shit. <laughs> yeah, mate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 216 pieces of 86 pound 99. Best bet was best money I've ever spent. 86 pound 99, mate. 206, 216 piece set, mate. Not even fucking Cadbury's chocolate, is it? Nah, mate. That's like fucking. That's Tesco Valley chocolate. Little's, mate. That ain't even. Little's, little's that ain't chocolate. even milk at that end. 18 pence. <laughs> anyway, so these bolts and bits and bobs and. I don't know what I'm really looking at or what I'm doing, but you know. Well, you've got two mounts, mate. That's not in. a good angle for me, mate. That's not. No. No, that's not a good angle. That's it, man. That goes to the car. Where about? And it? then that goes in there, and then you put the bolt through there, and it goes in there like that. That was one. We should have a few bolts in. Oh, yeah. That bolt, that long one goes through oh. this. Yeah, that long one goes through there. No, look, that goes through that, there like that. That long one goes through there. That goes through there. Like, yeah, that goes through there, and then that bolts to the car. Uh, but you want to get you want to get this one in first because otherwise you can't get that one in. Lovely. Well, let's get her in. All right, anyway, so nice and easy this one. Straight in that. So luckily, Chris provides a fitting kit, which is handy. Hey, Chris, you're gonna have to do this with Donald, mate. I wonder where your K-brace bolts bolt to though. Oh, I hope they don't bolt to the... <laughs> oh, I think I know where they bolt to. What were you laughing for? Yeah, I think they bolt to the bit where you got to put your harnesses. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they bolt... Oh yeah, there's two more there, lovely. To be fair, if you put your K-brace the other way around, you might have to get your harness bars on it. <laughs> oh, I still got the plastics on my boot and you give it a look. And then we'll get this one in as well. This is probably going to be the most easiest install I've done for this ever. But I suppose it's, it's nice to have a nice easy install because that way it's easier for you guys at home. I can't remember which way I'm going here. If the bar's going to go straight or quite slanted. Don't really know I want it. In we go then. So. Oh. So literally just. Slide in like that. Like that. Well, I can have this. I think I make no odds really. I'll get out some flat. To be fair, we need Allen key. Bro, we need Allen keys. Allen keys. Good fucking idiot. But stop fucking about with it. Will you break that? Do some right fucking shit. Get out there and get out of my face. And there we go. There she goes. Alright. As soon as you go out here, mate. Oh, man. It looked like it was a number plate. Either it A 
Okay, so it's all done and dusted as you can see. Uh, I messed up, so in the pack there were some washers uh, which you can use to basically, so the, what was happening is that they weren't like close enough, the, the two hinges on either side for the bar to put like the pin bolt through. Um, so it just wasn't going in, but now it is absolutely like proper solid that is. So next thing, last thing to do, whack the bath motorsport sticker on. As always, if you haven't checked them out, go have a look. They've got the biggest range of K-braces you would ever come across. And he's trademarked it now, so shout out to Chris. He's done a fair sick job in doing that. Um, takes some big balls and a lot of money to get that done, so fair pay to him. Uh, yeah, so let's get the sticker on, and I can help Chris with getting his in. It'll be sweet. So the K-brace is pretty much the same simple install. Now, it bolts to down here, the, the bottom half of it, where these two uh, remaining bolts are. now keep these because you're going to need these because it's not actually included in the pack um i mean you don't need to have it included in the pack anyway because it's already on the car so make sure you, you keep hold of them same simple thing again uh, with the brackets wherever i put it and the washers inside which you can see uh wherever i put them there on the side there it's not going to focus is it no so all of that and i'm going to put the k-brace in i'm going to quickly just splash crushes out and get it done and I'll show you the, the mountain points and everything in a bit more depth and then we'll roll into a little cool cinematic of the whole K-brace itself. Just finished up with Chris's K-brace, it's all done now. So uh, the way it mounts in, like I said, keep those two bolts down there and it's quite easy once you've got the washers to uh, bolt this all in. It's mainly self-explanatory, you, you, it's really simple, really easy stuff and you guys can do it. Then we just wipe the bath and put a sticker in there as well. So without further ado, so we're on some cool, the cool clips of the both of the braces. So now the K-braces are done, um, last little shout out, go check out Bath Motorsport. Products have always been great, I've worked with Chris for a long, long time, the 135i with the Clio, now the Megans, so I rate his products and I stay with companies and products that I really rate. So check them out. Next up is the Sabelt bucket seats and we've got scroff harnesses as well. Now the harnesses is a bit of a, hmm, do I do this, do I don't? Um, I've not got a reclining seat, so if you had reclining seats, don't do this. Now you're supposed to have a 45 degree angle, no more than that, when you're doing harnesses. Um, 45 degree angle is your max. Uh, usually it should be flat across on a bar. But um, there's bolting points down here, which where you can put the harnesses. Now this seat, the seat I'm actually gonna have is gonna be a lot lower. So we're gonna see how it is, see how safe it is. Let's go from there really. But first things first, we need to get this one out and get the other two bucket seats. So now the old Sparco seat's out. I will be selling this, selling this by the way, so if anyone fancy a Sparco Rev bucket seat, then uh, give me a message. Now, what we've got going on here is, uh, we've got the new seat mounts from Wheeler Motorsport again. Definitely check Josh out, he's got some good seat mounts. Um, you don't need base plates for these as well, which is really good with them, because there's so much adjustability, it's really good. Uh, so, bucket seats themselves are in here. So I went for this about GT3s, Really nice and huggy down below, and uh, an overall good looking seat. Everyone rates pole positions way too much. Yeah, literally everyone rates pole positions way too much, in my opinion. I went to Demon Tweaks for these, and I tried out so many seats. Now, don't get me wrong, pole positions are probably the best looking seats, but for like motorsport and when you're on a track day, I feel like you're going to submarine a lot in them or just lose. You know, you're not going to get that. You're just going to wiggle about in them too much, especially on the side bolts there. So, I want a nice high bolts on the side and a nice long here as well so this is perfect for me we're gonna get it in and see what it looks like and then um, I need to figure out as well how I'm gonna mount the harnesses on the side and where I'm gonna put 
put the holes down the side there as well. I could probably replace it with a seat belt hole actually here to be honest, yeah. Also whilst we're here I want to show you the bad boy scroff harnesses. These are absolutely beautiful. Noted left and right as well, valid until 2026. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're, I like them, I went for these because everyone's going to look one you have TRS about. Now these actually have thicker straps that go around on the top, obviously across you down there, they're thinner. Um, so belt ones are going through there are quite thin, so I want some scruff ones, plus they're probably the best harnesses you can get uh, for your cars anyway. So yeah, that's what I went for, some scruffs, lovely. Oh right, boys, we're all good, we're all, we're all, we're all gravy because we just found out these are long enough to go on the rear bar which is absolutely a godsend, so no clipping down there at the bottom, nice and safe all the way across. Yeah, boy. Right, basically we got a nightmare. We've bottled this one. Harnesses ain't going in tonight, boys. Well, They're coming tomorrow. So basically we'll have, uh, we'll have some plates put in, drilled holes through with some plates, we'll thread it, threaded end plates so that these things can go right through and clamp together and then it's all happy days, so. Yeah, for the minute, so I won't have to hang tight, might just have to get seats in for now and see how the seats look, make sure I'm happy with how the seats are, height wise, and go from there, but the only good thing, the good thing about it is, obviously we can strap that to the rear, rear bar there, which is definitely handy. So just seats tonight, just the seats. So, here we go then, this time, well that's not good right I think we're going to go three, nah, we'll go four down this time, four down, I want to go low on this one, but now it's going against that. Well, we can go straight on first one, nice and lovely. Cool, actually you're too fair, that's fucking, that's fair low. Might have to be a bit higher for that one. Alright, let's get this in, see how this what's this like. Height wise. Right, well, I put a seat in. Chris is getting angry, he's grinding shit. Right, fucking solid. <laughs> What's up with you? You're the grinder. Yeah, but everyone thinks, mate, this like, is my personal car. Oh, I mate, I think everyone knows by now it's your own personal car. Go stripped out she is. Anyway, so that is how it's going to look with the uh, harnesses. And uh, if I look like I've got lipstick on, I haven't. My lips are really sore at the minute. So it's about seat. It's about wheel. I was thinking of maybe getting that done in white. Getting some nail varnish and going white with that, just over matches, but then we got yellow seat belts, so I just realised that matches. But definitely a lot better. These are a lot thicker compared to Chris's Sabout ones. I don't know if I can show you. He's got Sabout ones, but these are a lot thicker, which is a lot nicer as well. So that's how the seat's going to be. It's perfect for me when I get in. I'll show you. Nice and see the perfect driving position there, that is. Nice and tight my arms. Enough. You don't want to be too high. You want to be quite low, to be honest, when you're driving across um, with everything. You want to just be able to see over the steering wheel, I guess. Um, but perfect ride height for me. Absolutely perfect. What I'm going to do now is get the other seat in. And once the other seat's done, I'm going to call it a day and come back tomorrow and get the uh, harnesses in properly because we'll get, it's getting late and I'm getting very annoyed and my voice seems to be getting, which is not good. I'm getting ill. Oh yeah, so you see these bolts that are uh, in here, they do not fit very well. What was that? What oh, are you getting excited about? Right, like, yeah, so basically these don't fit in uh, with those side mounts, so that's no, that's no good. And I'm getting really ill, and I've ordered up some brackets as well for the mounts, uh, for the scruff harnesses, and I'm forgetting a lot of the things I'm saying right now, so I'm going to take the car out, go home, I'm getting ill. I just need to go home and we'll catch up with you guys in like a day or two when the parts arrive because I've paid 10 quid for next day delivery on something that's weighs like less than a gram probably. Ridiculous. Right you lot, so it's been a few days and I've uh, I've just put the other seat in. I was really busy and I'm about to get really busy again now but this is how they uh this is how they both look now they're in. 
really damn good. I've got loads of parts in the back, which is for another video that's about to happen. But I thought I'd quickly show you guys the seats. Uh, we still had a trailer down here because obviously the harnesses and everything's not connected. So just taking it off the trailer now and we're just literally ready to rock. So that's it guys. I'm, I'm going to wrap up with the seats because and the K brace and the rear bar. So shout out to Bath Motorsport, Chris, a uh, legend again. And obviously, if you want some good seats that hug you really well and have really nice look at, those Sabato GT3s are absolutely incredible. It's a shame we couldn't get the scruff harnesses in, but it is what it is. And uh, obviously, as you know now, yeah, those wheels are looking absolutely fucker. So, guys, I'm going to end off today's video. If you've enjoyed it, smash a like on today's video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, turn on notifications for every single time I upload, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.